Have you heard about this? A person did a BIOS update and it kept going and going and going for a hundred hours. Yep. Let's dive into this now. So when you do a BIOS update, first of all, you're probably very nervous to do one. I have done probably thousands over the 25 years that I've been at this. And like I say, when I flash the BIOS, I cross my fingers, my toes, and hope the power doesn't fail because if it does, your motherboard is toast. Not quite, I guess it depends on your board, but you know what I'm trying to say, updating firmware and BIOSes can be nerve wracking. And I am sure the agony that this person on Reddit who goes by the name of Goat with a gun must have had severe anxiety hour after hour after, I don't know if I would have had the patience, I would have probably shut the system down and went, oh, well, there goes that motherboard. <laughs> but yeah, for a hundred hours, this person was trying to update the motherboard. Now, what motherboard was this? Well, this was the Biostar A320MH. And the update stretched to a hundred hours and then it failed. Now, Goat with a Gun apparently reported that at 2.14 p.m., this is in the Philippines, the monitor lost signal and the PC failed to respond to any troubleshooting. And of course, what do you do if you have a problem? It could be with your dishwasher or your motherboard. You go, of course, to Reddit and post something. And usually within seconds or minutes, you've got many, many people responding, trying to help you. Reddit is a wonderful resource. Now, the link to the Reddit post is in this article, and I will link you to this article in the YouTube description down below if you want to check it out. Now, from what I can gather, only the board completely failed. The other components in the system were fine. And by the way, the components that were in the system were AMD Ryzen 3 1200 CPU, 12 gigabytes of GDDR4 2400 Kingston HyperX memory, and an ASUS GTX 1660 GPU, along with two SSDs, but none of those components apparently were affected, which is great. Is the motherboard dead or isn't it dead? Well, who knows? Because there is apparently a glimmer of hope because a BIOS programmer now is involved and hopefully this motherboard actually isn't completely dead and maybe they can somehow revive it. So like some posts on Reddit, things can sometimes go well into a very negative direction. And apparently there's been some negative feedback on Reddit and the goat with a gun hinted that any further updates regarding his attempt would be shared elsewhere. I'm not sure where that will be, but that's a little unfortunate because it would be nice to find out if in fact this BIOS programmer was able to reanimate the motherboard. So here's a question. Would you be able to wait 100 hours? Would you have enough patience to wait 100 hours for your... <laughs> for your motherboard to update the BIOS and then fail. Nah, I wouldn't. There'd be no way. You know, after a few, after half an hour, to be honest, I would be like, okay, this is done. And I would pull the plug and go, oh, well, 